welcome to clickmyproject.com now we discuss about the product for design of microstrip patch antenna for ku band satellite communication applications next we see the abstract for the product in the recent year demand for small antenna for wireless communication has increased te technology hence resulting exclusive research on computing microstrip antenna design among the microwave and rf engineers a compact microstrip antenna such as vs80 system is one of the most suitable application to support high mobility satellite communication devices ku band is one of the most preferred choice in VSAT system VSAT can be adapted for satellite television broadband and satellite television moreover VSAT is one of the best emergency communication backup for system during disasters microstrip patch antenna is a two dimensional planar antenna configuration having the all advantages of the printer circuit boards which includes but are not limited to easy to design and easy to manufacture and low cost though this antenna structure possesses the several advantages over the methods low gain and low efficiency there are many researchers in prog orders to make full use of advantages such as case in designs and case in manufacturing and low cost in manufacturing those the compact microstrip antennas a rectangular microstrip antenna is present in this paper for ku band satellite communication application the proposed e shaped patch antenna is designed to cover the various applications such as the broadcasting and remote sensing and space communications and including the effect of high frequency in this procedure the concept of the microstrip based coli the coli coli diagram is adapted to create the frequency dependent lossless characteristics impedance this is a simple method for proposed in this research is come compatible with computer aided designs and hence the design of microstrip antenna for ku band satellite from this research will be fast and easy to implement next we see the flow diagram for the antenna design we implement the antenna design using the hfs software this software to implement the high frequency synthesis simulator based frequency development and the bandwidth calculation to be all the de de designs and developments to be included in the hfs software so first we open the new hfs software and new project design in our 3d model based designs then create a new project design then go to the first we create the any one of the antenna first we choose the substrate model and to analyze the substrate model and the dielectric constant value and permittivity value and the dielectric substrate modeling type all the things to be noted then we select and create the patterns for and the shapes for our substrate model because uh, example for circular or rectangular or square or triangular based uh, substrate model used in our any one of the hfs modeling designs then we apply the which substrate model to be implemented example for roger or uh, roger 54003 or 5005 so then to apply the substrate uh, model then we go to the assign substrate material type the material is uh, represents is same like a roger material and we go to the patch model design whatever patch model we use the circular square or rectangular patch model to be implement in our designs and we using the polyplane for uh, cut, uh, rectangular shape cut all the things and we add and subtract the implement design and to connect the what are the patch model implement in our secured diagonal patterns and we implement the xy is a dimension based substrate model design in our secured selected new project then we go to the to design the bottom patch and top patch design every model consists of the ground plane and the top plane structure for our required patch wise designs when the substrate to be included and the substrate multiple substrate model and the three layer model and all the things to be designed in the first design based process in every antenna design we implement first the design wise completions process to be calculated then we go to the final design wise process after design process to be completed then we go to the analysis setup work for every antenna design the analysis setup mainly focused by the boundary wise designs and the excitation wise designs in our field setup whenever we use the electrical field and we use the wave port model and the magnetic field we use and use the 
step up board model for overall antenna designs. These designs to be applied for the frequency range. Then to set the frequency for a start and stop frequency and the solution frequency. The solution frequency to be changed by the based on the antenna model designs and whatever we working the full bandwidth and to coverage with the center frequency range for our recurved solution frequency model. Then to set up all the frequency model and to run and the overall process then if the run to calculate the s parameter and uh, it's like uh, return losses for our, our required antenna design then we go to the empty boundary box to be set up for the our required antenna model design and to set the radiation pattern this radiation pattern to set the pattern wise model for our required 360 and 18 degree pi and theta value for set up for our overall radiation pattern then to calculate the radiation pattern graph and the polar plot graph and the gain level and all the things vswr each and every analysis for required antenna design to be calculated for our required model, final model. This is our the final flow diagram for the antenna design process. Finally, we see the output for the product. This is our the project design for Ansoft HFSS file. Just to click the Ansoft HFSS file and to open the required uh, antenna design based on the simulation process. These are the designs oriented development. These are the base T plane faced structure. This is the feeder point, and these are the substrate model and the patch model design for our rural architectures. These are the overall patch designs. Then the model and the substrate model and the vacuum material and to the PAC material, all the feeder point designs oriented process. These are the feeder port, lambda port designs. These are the perfect L ground plane and the top patch design for acute antenna model. Then you run the run simulation based process and just you run compile then to simulate the simulate model. Then to open the this is the required antenna waveform file for required generation. Then we go to the modify the antenna project. This is the modified e plane structure and we use the U slot design u plane structure for overall architecture design these are the required finalized uh, correct ism process output for industrials satellite and medical application bandwidth antenna working bandwidth to be performed correctly after running the simulation process then we go to the results oriented process these are the required our working bandwidth for uh, our three band structure, four band structure to be working with the uh, required our antenna model design. These are the final output for our antenna design process.